Hello everybody and welcome back to Analog Vernacular. Today we're going to be playing some more Fire Emblem Three Hopes. We are currently in Chapter 4, kind of like at the beginning of it. And uh, yeah, we're just going to be going through some more tutorial stuff here in camp and then getting to the map itself. Here's the plan. Got a minute? There you are, Shez. Let me give you the rundown of our plan. How's that? Take a look at this map. Our camp is located right over here. And we're headed to the Great Bridge of Murden, which is here. Thing is, the territories in between are having trouble keeping order. We can't pass through with things as they are now. Long story short, we'll need to drive out the bandits to secure a safe route to the bridge. Make sure you're fully prepared. You don't want to regret it later. Might be worth it to check out the training grounds or marketplace. I wonder if each individual chapter is going to have a unique campground. I'm counting Feel on free you. to use them to improve your weapons and get ready for battle. I mean, assuming that our, our conquest or whatever is going to be moving to different locations, that would make sense. But I, like, I, I wonder if they really did develop one for, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if they would or not. Okay. Training instructor first. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Okay, let's acquire any classes we can get. I think two people are ready. So, looks like Hilda's ready. And she wants to be a brigand. Cool, I'm okay with that. This is the first brigand we've had, huh? Bring the pain, <laughs> princess. This'll be fun. Oh, Lorenz was the other one. Yeah, I guess there's no point in doing that right now, so. Um, let's see. Shamira's already an archer, which is where we want her for now, so we'll just leave that. You're in Flugel, and Claude is in Wyvern Master. Okay, Raph and Ignatz. You got your class already, so let's focus on the people who haven't gotten their classes yet. You and Marianne. And Leone, and do we want to do Claude or Chez? Or Hilda? We'll do Chez. I'll be making sure you maintain proper form, so go ahead and train your hardest. It makes me nervous when people stare at me. I mean, uh, thank you. We're done here. Okay, one master done. Gonna let my mother. I've got the hang of. I had this. T I'll put this to good. Can't wait to see. Hey, new pop. Time to work you into shape. We're gonna have lots of bow wielders. I should make. Okay, there's an argument to be made to have him start working on a Myrmidon class so that we can, like, have him go down some mercenary and thief trees as well. He's probably the most likely to do that besides Shez. Yeah, we'll do that. We're going to do this for supports. 
time to whip my muscles into shape. They're gonna be begging for mercy by the time I'm done with them. Um, could you do your muscle training another day? I doubt I'd be able to keep up. No one can beat us. Getting strong? I've got that. Glad I haven't been wasted. I'll put this to. I'll mess. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Okay, we got four more. Sure, if it helps. Okay, mage. I never pictured this for myself. And I think I'm going to actually have you do Pegasus Knight. Definitely some potential here. Okay. And we have one more train session that we can do. Let's see. So, yep, you're going to master that, which is good. And that means that we'll have options with Ignatz, at least. Do I want you to go down a Cavalier, or do I want you to go down this path? will help me break okay we're gonna need one more training intermediate the seal between victory and defeat let's make sure everybody's at five more fighting To do my I aspire. I'm feeling still a lot. Can't wait to see how you do. Okay, item shop. I carry a little of everything here. You've got an eye for quality, friend. Hope to see you again soon. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Yeah, let's make him a thief. And then we have the option of making him a thief if we run into maps that have chests. I should make the most of this. We're gonna to want to get him an iron sword as well. So when we go to the armorer, proper training, we'll get one extra iron sword. Welcome. That all for today? We probably already have one, right? Yeah, we've got extra iron swords, I think. We're okay. Come back soon. Okay. Which battlefield are you headed to? Let's 
So, Western Ordelia territory. Bandits are sitting on a stockpile of supplies after raiding nearby villages. Eliminate the bandits and recover the supplies. Eliminate the bandits. Okay, gain control of all strongholds. Alright, we need to see Claude's new class as a Wyvern Lord, so Good to go. let's bring him in. Okay, these two will cover this bottom half, and those two I think can cover the top half, it looks like. Okay, a plus three, it has dexterity factor and boost collisions. Iron Lance plus three, boosts aerial attacks and quality material, level one. Um, who do we think? So let's see. Defense 9. 12. Ooh, good defense. Okay, so you definitely need it. Out of everybody here, you're the one who needs the shield the most. There we have it. Okay, spiral and curved. Fallen Star is another one of the ones that costs quite a bit, right? 22 isn't the worst I've seen. Yeah, Curve Shot and Fallen Star. I have to remember I that it. I can mount and dismount Need too. Back up. I've got it. I'll follow your lead. Got it. I'll fight alongside you. Win this. Come on. Yeah, I'm ready to go. Okay, dust cloud imbue attacks with wind. And let's see, our class. Each time the class gauge fills completely, you'll add a fireball icon to your stock. The class gauge will fill over time and by defeating enemy soldiers. Okay, and then do we use it with ZR, or how does that work? No, we, I guess we just use X. really do hit hard, don't, don't they? We managed to contain things here. Yeah. 
Not a problem. I've got... This doesn't look good. Oh, there it is. That fireball. Nice. Hell yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> this will help secure our victory. Please find it in your heart to help me. Uh, who said that? I'll give you a hand. Defeat 300 enemies, okay. Hey, that's the first time we've seen anything like that. Sorry. Didn't realize I had that in me. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. Got this. Take a breather. Yeah, not bad. This place won't be a problem anymore. Okay, enemy reinforcements have appeared. Um, defeat 300 enemies. Now, below that, over on the right-hand side... Oh, yep, it just switched. Seize the strongholds. Yes, go back to the other one, though, please. Okay, so we're at 190, by the looks of it, from underneath that. So, um, yeah, let's kill some more people. Sorry, team, I gotta fall back. What's next? Okay, we got it. On to the next one. Not a problem. I've got this. Let's try this. Let's see how this goes. better than that. Yeah. I knew this was a possibility. This stronghold will fall! Well, that super missed. Thank you. I'll repay you somehow. Okay, let's look at yours. Careful study allows the unit to string together two times the normal number of regular attacks. Oh, interesting. Based on the number of consecutive hits, speed will increase, and final regular or strong attacks will strengthen. That's kind of cool. Okay. High altitude. Certain attacks will put you in a high altitude state from which you can execute combos with the following inputs. Okay, cool. Best to hold this position. 
position, right? Okay, let's uh, all out. Time to make a name for myself. Uh, what are you? So a thief with a sword. Okay. You won't lose, no matter what. So Leone will have effectiveness here. Had to pause. I had a cat going after some cables. A little menace. Cute menace. Menace nonetheless. Okay, that's holding X. Not dying here. Great work. Ooh, how'd you even more do that? <laughs> I don't know if it's just because it's been a long time since I played the original Fire Emblem Warriors, but I like the Pegasus Knights and the way they feel in this game a lot better than I remember liking them in that one. Are they significantly different, or am I just misremembering? Maybe at the time I just didn't know how to use them, but... One step. All I'm saying is they feel good in this one, yeah, so... Not... Gotta keep... Hey, new Okay, Flugel was mastered. And we got the mace in this one. Two years ago, I never would have imagined we'd be fighting a war like this. I'm with you there, but it's actually quite the lucky break for you. How do you mean? When a war breaks out, every mercenary in the land starts crawling out of the woodwork. And with all your associates here, you should have a large enough force to take on you-know-who. Lith. Geralt's mercenaries. Yeah, good point. And then you can give them their just desserts or die trying. Could have done without that last part. Thanks. Relax, relax. You know I'm on your side. Our destinies are forever intertwined. Do we have an understanding then? I understand your request, but I make no promises to honor it at this time. Pardon my candor, but you have yet to earn my confidence. You suck, Count Gloucester. Look at this guy. I shall observe how this war progresses and then make the decision myself. Now, good day to you. Such a coward. Oh, That's a father. cowardly move. The current Alliance leader and I have finished our discussion. I will be taking my leave now. Lorenzo's a lot taller than him. Everything okay, Claude? Must have a tall that mom. seemed... tense. On the contrary, our conversation couldn't have been more pleasant. Count Gloucester is always a delight. <laughs> Sarcasm. If that was meant to be a joke, you will know that I am not <laughs> laughing. Lawrence, it's been far too long. I'm glad to see you're safe and well. Yes, well, I doubt I will be either of those things for much longer. The Imperial Army has begun its march northward. Incidentally, what were you discussing with my father? Oh, you know, just what the Lords should do in the unlikely event that the Imperial Army crosses into Alliance territory. And how did my father respond? Poorly. 
like a coward. With a whole lot of words, but not a lot of clarity. Mm -hmm. Hardly surprising. My father does not even share his innermost thoughts with me, and I am his heir. Lawrence, let me ask you something. Would you go along with his decisions no matter what? What exactly do you mean? Say, for example, if your father pledged his allegiance to the Empire, would you follow suit? That's a good question, knowing what we know. Oh. Do you think Count Gloucester's going to betray us, Claude? Of course not. It's just a hypothetical. Well, then that's a serious what if. Almost sounds like you're trying to provoke Lawrence. No, just trying to see where he would no, land. No, it is quite all right. In fact, it is a perfectly reasonable yeah. query, given my father's actions as of late. However, my father takes tremendous pride in being one of the five great lords of the Alliance. He would not betray us to the Empire lightly. I, for one, still have faith in him. I won't deny that your father is a great man, Lawrence. I just wish he regarded me with anywhere near the same level of esteem. All right, Lawrence is back with us. We've got ourselves some surveying spots, so let's go. Western Ordelia territory, a town some distance from the battlefield. Okay. I owe you my life. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Okay, getting ourselves some gifts. And here's some money, a mine abandoned. Okay, building materials. Oh, I didn't even see that one there. A camp where your army is stationed. Right. I've collected plenty of information. I do hope that you find it useful. Of course. The enemy is utilizing a cluster formation. In that case, I have the perfect strategy in mind. I will give the archers their orders. Okay, sniper fusillade. Sorry to bug you when you're so busy, but I'm in a bit of a bind. Pretty please? We don't have enough people to keep up with all the tasks around camp. Would you mind volunteering? You should talk to the chore master about volunteering when you have a moment. Okay. She's like, that way I don't have to do it. <laughs> I'm looking for volunteers to help around the camp. We all need to chip in to make life here as pleasant as possible. Care to make yourself useful? Okay. Pretty much everybody needs a little bit of a pick-me-up. Counting on you both. Yeah, let's get this done. I don't know how much help I'll be, but... Okay. Thanks so much for all your help. Want to have some tea now that everything's finished? Oh wait, maybe it's meal time already. Uh, speaking of, you've been a mercenary a long time, right? What kind of food did you used to eat? Mm. Made my own. Oh, definitely. Really? Wow, I had no idea. Now you just have to make something for me. That's okay, right? We've got some ingredients here if you need any. Feel free to use them. All right. Let's cook a meal. Hunger is the true enemy. Okay, any favorites here? That one has several fa favorites. Weapon durability loss slightly reduced. I mean, if we do him, we'll get his support, but we'll probably get it anyway, so let's not. Oh, I think we just got Leonis, though. Probably because we paired up with her in that last fight. 
Oh wow, we got a perfect. This is great. We failed getting a perfect in every other instance that we tried this. Cool. This is one of my favorites. Thank you. This really makes my day. Thanks. I love this. Spending time with your allies consumes activity points. Yes, yes, yes. And we have one more after this, right? Amazing. Whoa, that was way better than I expected. Thanks, I'm sure the others enjoyed it too. It feels good to give a gift to someone else, doesn't it? And it doesn't just have to be food either. Which reminds me, you've probably picked up stuff on the battlefield, right? You might have something that would make a good gift. Hmm, maybe I should give something to Claude? Okay, we have supports available already. It's Chez and Leone, and we might get Claude after this. Um, let's see. Go straight to Claude. What is it? What's up? You need something? No, oh, thanks. You're welcome. Well, that sure kept me busy. Maybe we should head out to the next battle soon. Yep, just after we do these supports. Well, how'd it go? Any results, a good result. Okay, we need to use our activity point. Care to make yourself useful? Do it. Counting on you both. What? Me? Fine. Sure. Gotta put that girl to no work. Sweat. Otherwise, she'll just sit around and do nothing. We all must do our fair share. All right, let's uh, see these supports. I think we're really close on Hilda, too. Yeah, well, somewhat. Okay, let's start with Claude, then we'll do Leonis. Hey, Claude. Looks like you had another one of those meetings. You finally finished? For today, yeah. But we're picking up right where we left off tomorrow. Ugh, that's a lot of talking. What could possibly call for that much discussion? Well, first, we need to settle on a direction for the Alliance. And then come all the pesky little details. All responsibilities need to be doled out fairly, but each territory has different resources and different circumstances, you know? So it's tricky to figure out what's really fair. There's no one answer that works across the board. But you're their leader. Can't you just make a bunch of decisions and get it over with? No can do, I'm afraid. I may be the leader, but I'm still just one of the five great lords. Sure, I may be the idea man, but I don't have the authority to enforce anything on my own. On top of all that, most nobles are experts at focusing on what's good for their own territory instead of what would benefit the Alliance as a whole. When priorities clash, the debates just go around and around in endless circles. Makes me wonder if we'll ever reach a consensus on anything. You know what, Claude? Just be happy that within your system, they are actually worried about their own territories and not just their bottom line, a.k.a. their money. Hold on. Do you really think you'll win the war like this? You'll always be on the defensive if you can't act decisively. All right, they're probably worried about that, too. I Let's hear be you, real. believe me. The process works much better in times of peace, but since we're at war, it's frustrating to say the least. What's worse is that it's near impossible to get a read on the situation. I don't have the foggiest idea how we're going to overcome this. Say, mind if I pick your brain? What would you do in my shoes? What, me? Well, I guess I'd... <laughs> Give him the old babam. Skirt round them with a nice whoosh. What does that even you mean? You gotta just give him a nice whoosh. Deal with them that way. Uh huh. Whoosh. You care to spell that one out for Probably me? Probably murder. 
What I'm saying is, why not just get rid of all the talking? <laughs> you mean get rid of the Alliance's <laughs> council altogether? <laughs> exactly. If you give yourself more authority, then it won't take as long to make decisions. <laughs> oh, Shez. It doesn't even have to be permanent. You could go back to the old way once things are peaceful again. But I guess that wouldn't go over too well with the other nobles, huh? Yeah, there's got to be a diplomatic Actually, approach to it. Something. Can't say it hasn't crossed my mind before. If folks at the round table just keep looking out for their own territory's interests, we'll be in a world of hurt if the Alliance is ever invaded. I just wish they could see that. Form of martial Whoa. law? Are you seriously considering it, Claude? Of course. Unfortunately, the possibility of it actually happening right now is basically zero. But you've given me a lot to chew on. Let's do this again sometime. Just say the word. Playing fast and loose with their politics over here. Alright, Leone. train too? Nah, just grabbing something I forgot earlier. Is this normal training time for you, Leone? Well, yeah. We've been so busy lately, I've had to squeeze it in whenever I can. Huh. You work hard for a mercenary. I'm just starting out in my career, so I can't afford to slack off now. I only started training as a merc after the Officers Academy closed, remember? Meanwhile, you were one before you even came to the Academy. You've got years of experience on me. Still, you're skilled and you've got brains, which means you're more promising than the average rookie. Yeah, that's true. Everything I we know about Leone right. checks out I on that front. I have to distinguish myself at some point, or else I won't be able to face it's the It's one of the reasons why I respect her so much. You have a captain? <laughs> uh -oh. yep. He visited my village when I was a kid, and I practically begged him to make me his apprentice. I was probably a huge nuisance, but I was so desperate to get out of my village and be independent. Gerald treated me like an annoying little brat there it is. at first, but eventually he taught me for real. Chess starts sweating. He showed me everything. Tricks of the trade, standard training routines, basic strategies. How's he going to handle this? Don't you have a mentor? Someone who showed you the ropes? If he says nothing about the fact that she just a pulled mentor. out Gerald's... Hmm. Are you fucking kidding me, writers? You're gonna have her bring up the name Gerald and Shez is gonna have zero fucking reaction? What'd you do? Fall asleep at the will? Unacceptable. That actually kind of makes me upset a little bit. It's like, come on, use some common sense. You're sitting in the writer's room and she brings up the name Gerald and Shez has no reaction at all. That's stupid. <laughs> They should be ashamed of themselves. He better say something before this thing ends. There's someone kinda. I do have a mentor, in a sense. You know, someone who occasionally gives me advice and stuff. I think he's talking about That's Arvel, sort but... Of vague, but I guess there can be all kinds of mentors. I thought he'd be talking about his former uh, mercenary leader. But Either way, you still have loads more experience than me. I need to work hard so I can catch up with you. Well, if you ever want help from an old pro, just say the word. Thanks. I'm glad to have a role model I can count on. The writers completely failed here. <laughs> that was a complete failure of a, of a C rank there with Leone. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. No reaction at all. It's like they don't even care. <laughs> Why am I so mad about it? There's a new blue dialogue over here. Oh, because it's Lorenz. I see you are here as well, Shez. Has House Regan hired you as a mercenary? I have a request. War could erupt at any moment. You must be prepared to spring into action. Assure him that you are ready. Right on. 
Oh, I've been ready. So ready, in fact, that I'm tired of waiting. Well, that is most encouraging. I expect to see that confidence on the battlefield as well. However, as the heir of a high-ranking noble family, I shall be the one making the greatest name for myself. I suggest you remember that. Sure thing, bro. Looks like Claude has some new dialogue, too. You know, hey, I got some new information. I'll fill the others in later, but for now, know that the Empire rejected the Central Church's authority. Yeah, uh, what I do, don't know. What does that mean? Long story short. Well, in layman's terms, Edelgard's picking a fight with Rayet, the Archbishop. She claims the Central Church has forced its own self-serving doctrine upon the people of Fodlan, and that they abuse their authority by meddling in other governments and profiting off their position. Long story short, Edelgard says she won't stand for it anymore. Hmm. Well, regardless of whether that's all true, it's got nothing to do with the Alliance, right? You would think! <laughs> hmm. I wouldn't say that. The Central Church is headquartered at Garrig Mach, and the fastest way to get there is straight through Alliance territory. So far, the Empire hasn't tried to negotiate with us at all, which means they plan to force their way through here. And see, it would be a very different thing had they tried to negotiate, right? Like... Some of the Alliance leaders may be less religious, they may actually be open to it, but the fact that there is no negotiating happening, that, that's the major issue here, isn't it? Edelgard might be hoping she could vanquish both the Alliance and the Kingdom in one go and rebuild Fodlin from the ground up, which she has no right to do. <laughs> nerf. But we're not going to just roll over. If they want to fight, we've got no choice but to give it to them. Yeah. No right. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can get through another fight here. So that one's the 18, this one's the 17. So let's do this one first. Rendezvous with the Vanguard in Southern Gloucester Territory. The Alliance Vanguard has been surrounded, most likely by bandits. Rescue them from their attackers, then join up with them to reinforce the army's military strength. Okay, rendezvous with the Vanguard. Um, okay, so, rescue the Cavalier and the Armored Knight. Cavalier and Armored Knight routed. Okay, so it's another protection mission. We have energized units now. Looks like we're uh, starting in sort of a pinch pincer. Okay, Lorenz looks like he might be pretty good there. I will show you true nobility. I'll Let's give him wrath. I'll show you what a mercenary can do. Who, me? Ooh, you know what? I'll do my best. We'll bring in Ignatz. We'll change him to a thief class. is a thing here. By thing I of course mean chest. <laughs> yeah, that's what we'll do. And then we'll take advantage of those bonuses as well. Um, actually I do need to check other people's equipment. You can probably get something better than this. No, you'll keep Frykugel. You've got your Iron Sword. Yeah, we're good there. The fight starts now. I cannot disappoint. Not a problem. Let's work together. Yeah. 
Let's... Don't worry, I won't slack off. I think this will go well. I'll lend you a hand, if that's all right. Now it is mine. There is nothing I cannot do. There is no those who require my me. aid. We're at a disadvantage here, so don't get reckless. We've got an emergency! Send backup! Now, let us bring it down! You know, you should just run over here. Do this. I'll back you up. Nothing for me. I think this will go well. I'm going. Yep, go get that. And you're going to go and help this guy. Okay, we're gonna switch to you once you get here. I'll lend you a hand. And in the meantime, my turn, you know. She already has two bars for her X special. Oh, I forgot to level people up. All would be lost if I were to die here. God, that cavalier keeps getting in the fucking way, bro. We did it. We did. Yeah, let's do this. Okay, you go there. My turn at last. Keep your eyes on me. Can't let it end like this. You're doing fine. Go ahead and heal. Yep, okay. I might have a problem. It's no use. We can't gain any ground. The lover, I'm sorry. We weren't strong enough. I got you. We have done it. I think this okay, will stick go with him. Turn you know. <gasps> Looks like you got one tough fight on your hands. Okay, we got people who are going to be rushing after these guys. Yeah, let's do this. Go and guard I'll him. You up. And we're going to control you and go for I'll the boss quickly. A taste more bitter than black as coffee. That's enough, right? Will you come with me? Follow my lead. I'm ready whenever you need me. Let me paint you a picture. Damn Ignox. Yeah, right. 
Good, but not enough. I won't lose! <laughs> We seized it. Here we go. They're safe now. What a relief. Take an A rank. I found. Okay, some better gauntlets. More activity points. Do you have a moment? I saw you pick up some useful materials in the previous battle. I have a request. I would like you to use them to expand a facility. Would you mind doing that for me? Seek out the facilities, Master. He will tell you what to do. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Okay, let's do the surveys Which and then we'll do use our activity points. Okay, cave near the battlefield. So that implied that there may be more than one battle in a single area where you can do surveys. Okay, another strategy. Mm hmm. Call in the guards. And we give them 100 gold. Hey. Easy enough. We can't do business here anymore with all these bandits around. So we'll let this go for cheap before it gets stolen. Okay. And now we can do that Make last sure you're update. ready. Allow me to assist with any matters regarding the facilities. Let me know if I may be of further service. Well, how'd it go? Any results a good result. Time to work you into shape. Oh, we got activity points. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Care to make yourself useful? Okay, Ignatz is really close, and I think Hilda's really close. Is there any that both of them... No, it doesn't look like it. on you both. Sure, I'll help. What? Me? Fine. We all must do our fair share. Oh, so close. Damn, I thought it'd be enough. Oh, oh well. It is what it is. Okay, so at this point, we're ready for this. Phlegathon territory. Okay, Acheron might be here. Bandits are swaggering around in Phlegathon territory like they own the place. Eliminate them and report to Acheron. Oh, we're working for Acheron. So he'll probably betray us in this fight then. 
Okay, so clean up in Phlegathon. What a name. Okay, defeat the soldier and monk and the archer. Cavalier is routed. Okay, so someone does need to be protected here. Ooh, you know what I need to do? I need to level people up. That's my bad. That's how we're gonna get our S ranks, is making sure that we have decent levels to be able to do damage quickly. I knew I was forgetting something. Time to work you into shape. Oh yeah, and we need to probably class up um, uh, Lorenz as well. I think he probably can class up. An ideal... I am still I have to I Gotta bring in one of these mages into this next fight I haven't used either Marianne or Lysithia yet. Gotta keep disappointed. With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Okay, Flegathon, let's go. Flamathon. There are some names that are just gross. Phlegathon is one of those names. I hope that's not like a real family name or something, because I may have just offended somebody. <laughs> Alright, who are our people who... So Lysithia and Marianne. Cool. Good. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. I'll show you what I can do. There's no time to waste. I'll handle this. Oh, whoops. I'll do my best. Okay, that has Charm Factor and Invoke Cress effects, which won't really apply to him, but that's okay. Okay, let's try this. You got this, everyone. I'll just watch. Leave it to me. All right, here I go. I'll help you out. Please, excuse me. I'll lend you my strength. Yeah, let's do this. Don't worry. I yeah, let's do this. 
Don't worry. I'll do my best. I Watch hope closely. I can. All right, curse expulsion. Enemy sent flying explode and deal dark damage to a narrow area. Press ZR to draw in spellbound enemies. Can be used again after a cooldown. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Class action. Hold X to rapidly fire magic volleys. The class gauge will fail over time and with strong attacks. Okay. Leave some use. You can count, I'll do my best. All right, let's take them by storm. Yeah, stop Don't that worry, guy. I won't. God, she's get, getting wrecked, dude. Pushing the wrong shortcut. Okay, at 300 hits and above, spawn falling ice orbs that deal ice damage for those intervals. And hold X to charge the class gauge and release to attack luminous nearby enemies. Attack an enemy with a luminous attack. Okay, it's that again. Okay. Don't mind if I do. All right, well, keep Is working on it. <laughs> Don't worry, switching it up, huh? You'll have to take things from here. Did we just lose something to teach us. Oh, that was a side mission? I thought it was our main. Don't worry, I won't slack off. Is, I'll give it a try. That's enough, right? Huh? Sure. <laughs> 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 
God, I'm really bad at using mages. God, how is he not dead? So far, my least favorite classes are the mage classes, for sure. I don't know how to use them yet. <laughs> um, okay, don't let the soldier and their allies reach the port town meeting hall. Okay. Um, we managed that. You can count on me. I'll do my best. Ugh, that was bad. More bitter than black as coffee. I'll have my fill. Where? The bloodshed. I'll do my best. My turn, you know. Come with me. We'll hit him as one. Damn. Did you see that? Wait, you're now. asking me? Cool. Here's the finisher. <laughs> uh, I did my part. Can I go now? No? You're pretty amazing, all right. Okay. Yeah, wins all around. Stage complete. That was we did bad in that one. <laughs> we did really bad in that one. An A feels generous in my opinion. Our mages were getting smacked yet. around like nothing. I want to go. Yep, definitely makes sense. Absolutely yeah. MVP in that one. Glad I haven't been with. Okay, a stronghold. Oh, that's part of the other one. Town near the battlefield. How about it? I was about to take the last of my wares and run. Go on and take one of my leftovers. Okay. All right, we have one training session that we can do. Training can be the difference between victory and defeat. Um, let's see. Let's get Hilda's. And yep, you're working on soldier. Good. I don't have anybody who's really that close.
We've definitely got some work to do. This will help me break new... How's this? Can't wait to see... Time to work you into sh- With proper training, you'll be unstoppable. Okay, Shez and Hilda, I think this is like the last thing we get to do here. Whew, glad that's finally over. And the demo stuff's done. Oh, hey! Nice job out there. You too, Hilda. Good to see you back safe and sound. That was one close fight, huh? You think so? I didn't even break a sweat. Really? Well, I guess we did have the upper hand for most of it. We sure did. And yet you still charged headfirst into the most contested part of the battlefield. <laughs> you know, that's why you end up feeling like every battle is some huge ordeal. It's so unnecessary. We'll just silently listen. <laughs> I know you want to argue. I can see it in your eyes. Living fast and loose is only going to land you in an early grave. Well, it's not like I'm trying to live like anything. This is just how mercenaries are. You can't distinguish yourself by hanging around in the back. And if you don't stand out, you don't get paid. People notice you if you do something showy on the front lines, and that can bring in the next job, you know? And I like to show off. Uh, you're basically commanding an entire army now? What does recognition matter at this point? You're probably right. I guess I've just gotten so used to fighting like that, it's hard to change. Aren't there a bunch of mercenaries in Goneril territory? Pretty sure I've heard of a merc company stationed at the throat. Yeah, we use mercenaries a lot when we're beating back the Almiron army. Then I'm sure they're the same as me. Haven't you seen them going all hog wild, competing with each other up at the front? Hmm, I've never really fought with them, but I can imagine that they're way different from regular knights. My brother is always going on about how some guy from some mercenary company or other died fighting at his side. It's called brotherhood. No surprise there. The more a merc makes a show of themselves, the easier it is for the enemy to spot them. <laughs> right? And that's exactly why I'm worried about you. Oh, that's kind of sweet, actually. You don't have to stress about grabbing attention and getting paid anymore. So just take it easy, okay? You got a steady gig don't now. Want you dying before your time. It's not a gig economy anymore. Sure, I'll keep it in mind. Yeah, okay. I'll keep that in mind. She's kind of being it's sweet. Not like I have a death wish or something. I can't really change my fighting style overnight, but I'll try to keep the recklessness to a minimum. Don't worry. Hmm. You know, I've never seen a noble worry so much about a mercenary. You just sit back and enjoy the show, all right? Enjoy the show? Yeah, that sort of talk is so not making me feel any better. <laughs> that was good. That was really good. <laughs> I liked that. All right. Well, here we are. We're going to end this episode. And uh, looking at the length of this, that um, I actually finished this earlier than I expected, which means that I've got another episode that I can fit in before we get to the full release of the game. So what we might do is we might go back to Azure Gleam and try to S-rank uh, the fights that we weren't able to S-rank. Um, that's going to be my goal in the next episode. Um, so yeah, thank you all for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one, everybody. I'd like to give a very special shout out to my patron supporters, Darren York, ZTD, Seventh Son, Ivan K, Len, HLLJ, Knife Namase, Caleb Adkins, and Jordan and Emily Hill. If you would also like to join this tier or any others, check out my memberships or my Patreon in the description down below.